Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is November 27, 2017. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, today we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading higher by three quarters of a point to 2601 and three quarters per contract. You can see the futures were on the weaker side. They were down about a point or so a little while ago, and they have come back to the positive side. So we'll see what today brings and we'll see what this market gives us today all in all though i hope everybody had a wonderful wonderful thanksgiving holiday but it's good to be back in the driver's seat all right let's start this market off with time t-i-m-e is the ticker symbol here looks like they're going to be bought out by meredith group for eighteen dollars and fifty cents a share if you own time uh try your stop loss if you don't own it i would leave it alone at this point so again um looks like they will be bought out and acquired for $18.50 a share. I think that's about $2.8 billion. Uh, the, the group that is buying them is Meredith. MDP is the ticker symbol here. And that stock is up as well, trading around 66 bucks right now. I do think this is a little bit overbought, so I wouldn't expect a whole lot of upside in Meredith. But it is up, and that's a little strange to see, especially when they're making a big acquisition. But nonetheless, time is up. And if you own time, try your stop loss. If you don't own it, very difficult to pick it up here at the stage i would not be doing so all right let's take a look at some other stocks in the news here western digital wdc i believe is downgraded today stock is trading at 89 dollars 49 a level i have today that i really like is going to be around 85.25 gets down to 85.25 i think that's a really really good level for a trade you could also probably see some support around the yeah i'm gonna stick with the 85.25 i see another level here but i'm a little uncertain so let's go with 85.25 85 and a quarter uh this should be the spot for a long play on western digital keep that on the radar also we're looking at micron i don't know the news there i did see a target raise but the stock is pulling back from a very very overbought condition right now micron trading at around 48 dollars and 15 cents Right off the bat, if Micron pierces 47, I do think you get an intraday bounce play there. So keep that on the radar. Let's call it 46.95. Gets down to around 46.95. I think you get an intraday day trade on Micron. So keep that level on the radar, $46.95. I'm not sure. That might be down in sympathy to the Western Digital downgrade. But either way, Micron could be in play. I don't see anything for Seagate very, very often when... Uh, Western Digital is moving or Micron is moving. Seagate will move. No pre-market action here for Seagate this morning. So we'll sit tight there. Let's take a look at GlaxoSmithKline. GSK is the ticker symbol here. The stock is trading at $35.82. Um, this is a little uptick here from an oversold condition. I don't know if I can make more out of it than that. It looks like the stock uh, this morning was... Um, downgraded it might have been downgraded but either way the stock is up ahead of the opening bell so again i'm not going to make too much out of it but it is caught a little bit of a bid here so we'll see what it plays out to uh once the opening bell rings i don't know if we're going to do a whole lot here with glaxo just yet let's take a look at square this i believe was downgraded this morning square is trading at 47 dollars 37 down from the $48.86 close. This stock has gone parabolic. If you take a look at a weekly chart or a monthly chart of this, this has just been one of the best moving stocks out there. So again, overbought and again, getting downgraded today. We'll see where it goes and we'll see how it plays out. But right now, getting a little bit of a pullback. I was looking for levels here on Square. It would have to go all the way below $44 for me. So let's just say $43.75, $43.70. If it got there today, I would be very, very interested in it for a day trade. So keep that on the radar today. Let's just call it $43.70. Uh, that would be my level today. Let's take a look at Sienna. I have not looked at this yet, but I did see it is downgraded. Sienna um, right now trading at $21.79. This is up off of the lows. Lows uh, today, I believe, are $20. And uh, close on Friday, I should say, $20.98. This is trading at $21.79. So this is a nice little uptick. I did think it was downgraded on the news. But um, nonetheless, stock might have been upgraded. So again, Sienna, nice little pop there. We'll see where it goes. I don't see a whole lot of 
upside from here, but we'll look at it once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at Roku, R-O-K-U. It looks like um, this had a target raise today. So Roku now trading at $41.65. This closed on Friday at $39.47. So good little pop there for Roku. We'll see if it has more in it. Now remember, this is a new issue. So when you look at, say, a daily chart, you know, it just it came public here on the 28th of September. So it's very, very hard for me to decipher where this is going with such a lack of data that we have in the chart. But either way, the stock still remains pretty strong at this point in time. All right, we're going to shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is getting a big, big bounce today. This could have a lot to do with China. China has been under pressure. Um, gold today trading up pretty sharply. Spot gold is up $10.40 to $1,297.90 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD today, that's trading at 123 uh, Spot 23. So good little pop there for gold. Really, really good solid move. Again, I do think gold comes into big resistance around 124 today on the GLD. So keep that on the radar. GLD gets to 124. Should have very, very good resistance. But this is a very good move ahead of the opening bell. Let's take a look here at crude oil. Crude oil is down 59 cents. That is trading at $58.35 a barrel. A good way to track crude oil is to look at the USO. USO this morning trading at $11.68. So this is down from the close, which was $11.79 on Friday. Again, oil has been on the move. A lot of chatter about Russia and Saudi Arabia cutting production. But again, spot crude down about $0.60. Cents. We'll see how it plays out today. Not much I'm looking to do here ahead of the opening bell. All right, with that being said, everybody, if you have not done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You'll see everything that we're doing in there. Having it, we're having a great 2017. We're going to look to finish strong right into the end of the year. With that being said, everybody, have a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.